Hey, sweetheart. Mm. How'd the meeting go? Did they give you anything? Any kind of info we can use? You're shitting me. How the hell did you get a hold of that? Hey, I'm not here to look a gift horse in the mouth, but... Can I see it? Holy shit. This really is Jet's report on the whole thing. How many favors did you have to call in to get a copy of this? Uh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't ask. Okay. What do we got here? There's gotta be something in here. I mean, Jet was an arrogant prick. And I would have loved to deck the fucking guy, but... I can't believe he would have been that stubborn without a real reason. I mean, he's still a fucking human being, for God's sake. The department had to have some kind of suspicions. Hey, hey arrow off the table. Come on, buddy. No, no jumping on the papers. Not right now, bud. Here's the part about me. I'm sure he gave me a glowing fucking review. Mr. Greer's attitude. Oh, oh you thought that was attitude? You little... I could have shown you attitude. That was me keeping myself in check. Whatever. Finding out he hates my guts isn't exactly a revelation. Where's the... Wait. Hold on. Look at this part. Yeah, come here. Nathan Wexler, forward operator, ground team, filed in their report that they suggested opening communication with the chorus. Chorus? They call the government the chorus? Okay. Uh, oh, the report is suggesting opening communications with the chorus for additional non department Delta support to bolster relief efforts and reduce the war's time in operation. This request was denied without further explanation to Wexler in accordance with current department recommendations regarding interaction with any non department Deltas. Specifically those directly reporting to the chorus until suspicions regarding recent Delta-led attacks on national containment facilities can be fully vetted. Wait. Is there anything else in here about that? That's... Uh, that's big. That's... Uh... Hold on. When I was in the control room with Jet, he, he talked about how, how the reason why it was going to take a long time to get the department's demons there was because they all had to be swapped out for enough human forces to keep those facilities safe. Because the department was worried that, with the timing of everything, the containment facility attacks could be related to the inversion. That whoever did it could have been waiting for the department to pull all their forces at once and leave everything undefended so they could strike. That the inversion could be part of something way bigger. If the department is worried that the chorus are the ones responsible for those breakouts, they must also be worried that the chorus are the ones who did the inversion and that it would have been playing right into their hands to reach out to them. Uh, but that just seems... Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I mean, I know humans and demons don't always get along, but I, 
could even see them having a hand in the breakouts, if I'm honest. You know, trying to get the people out from what they see as wrongful imprisonment, but a full-blown attack on thousands of innocent humans. I just... I can't imagine that. I, I mean... I guess I can see why the department is worried, but they can't actually think. What? And what about close knit? The department's gotta have an eye on them. I mean, those ads are running everywhere. And they made them so fucking fast. I mean, sure, they're not Casablanca or something. The production value is nothing special, but still. To have them ready that fast to use this whole fucking tragedy as a jumping off point for some election power play? I mean, I am no fan of Dump. I make no illusions about that. I have said from day one, I think it's a lot of good people trying to make a broken thing work. While some not good people at the top don't give a shit if it's broken or not. But you don't fix that by burning it to the ground and handing over the keys to the kingdom to some bigoted cult that's using a disaster to go from fringe hate group to actual political party. I mean, who's to say they didn't have a hand in all this? They clearly were ready to use it to every advantage the second it happened. And isn't it handy that the way that it all played out manages to make Dump and Demons look bad? The two groups Close Knit wants rid of. They have everything to gain from this, and clearly they plan to take full advantage of that. There's gotta be more to this. This isn't right. We gotta know more about what they're up to. There's gotta be people who used to be a part of close knit that have distanced themselves from it. People who might know more of what they're actually about. Not just that glossy little buttoned up exterior they put on. I'm gonna make some calls. Huh? No, I'll, I'll grab something to eat later. I'm fine. I want to get moving on this. No, sweetheart, I'm, I'm fine. I, I just don't want to waste any time. I, I don't need to. All right. Yeah, I. Sit for a bit. What is it? I, so sweetheart, I, I know, I know what you're trying to do. I appreciate it. I, you got an amazing heart. But I'm okay. I want to help. I want to use all this frustration and, and anger and do good with it. I'm not trying to say that I'm not still dealing with everything that happened. I am. And I will be. For a long time. I know that. But I... I'm a person who wants to do things when there are problems I want to fix them when there's a job to do 
I want to do it. Doing things makes me feel better. Over a thousand people are dead. Everybody else on the team went through hell and barely made it out alive. I want to find the people responsible for all this fucking pain so we can make them pay for it. I want to learn how this happened so we can make sure it never happens again. If it looks like I'm keeping myself too busy trying to find answers, maybe it's because I am. I'm not perfect. I know I'm not dealing with this perfectly, but actually doing something about it feels better. I mean, sure, if I could go back and do it all again, I would have... I would have tried to keep in a cooler head. Tried to keep some of my fucking attitude in check. Maybe then I could have convinced Jet. Or if that didn't work, I would have brought down the ward sooner. I would have pushed harder to get it down as fast as I could. Department be damned. But I can't go back. I know that, and I know that sitting here beating myself up about a million what-ifs and what-could-have-beens isn't going to help anybody. It's not going to help me. It's not going to help the people who died. They're gone, and no amount of Wishing it was different is going to change any of that. But what I can do, what I'm going to do, is make sure that we never get caught on the back foot again. None of us could have prepared for something like what happened. Because nothing like that ever had happened. But now it has. And I can make sure that we're ready for the next time. And I can try to make sure th that that readiness never has to be tested. That there never is a next time. No. No, I haven't tried to shift since when it failed three days ago. The healers told me it might take some time to to get back to that. Shifting is incredibly complex magic and I damn near burned my core to a crisp bringing down that ward it makes sense it'll take some time to recover from that I'm supposed to treat it like a torn muscle you know you let it rest you don't keep Testing it every day. Much as I might want to. I know I'll be able to shift again. I just... I gotta let my threads rest. So, in the meantime... 
I'm going to focus on things I can control. And hunting these bastards down is one of those things. But, to your point, I'm also not going to do anyone any good if I pass out from exhaustion or hunger. I can be doing things without without neglecting everything else. I've got to find that balance. Thank you for reminding me when I'm losing sight of that. I love you, sweetheart. It's going to be a long time before this all feels back to normal, huh? Yeah. I guess it's never really going to be the same normal that it used to be. But we'll figure this out. Somehow, I know we will. <laughs>